Hi everybody and welcome back. The weather outside is rainy, so when I can't stay outside and play, I will stay inside and play, per se, and write on my blog. And for this screencast of Total OS today, I thought I would write about uh, the perfect Linux desktop three contenders, mainly for uh, Windows users, or what I believe to be the top three choices for a perfect Linux desktop, and this would be uh, Linux Mint, Ubuntu, and Zorin in no particular order. So, what does constitute a perfect Linux desktop? Now, I wrote here on my blog, I won't read the whole thing, but when you have a chance, please take a look at it and let me know what you think. But I have a list of five things of what I believe a perfect Linux desktop should be. Now, this could be, you know, a desktop, a laptop, or I guess even a tablet. But I have a list here of five things uh, as a Windows user, what I think the perfect Linux desktop should be comprised of. So let's get started. The first thing is the name. A new computer shop shopper who is unsure what to buy may be caught by a new name PC. Makes sense if he or she walks into their favorite computer store, is unsure what to buy, and sees something new, that person may be caught by that name. Uh, I think Zorin is probably the most uh, unusual or unique, maybe even sounds exotic. Uh, Linux Mint, of course, you know, sounds fresh, as in fresh minty. Uh, out of the three, Ubuntu probably sounds the weirdest. Um, I mean, I know it means humanity towards others, but uh, my first exposure to Ubuntu, I believe, was something like, what the hell is Ubuntu? I guess, I don't know, it may sound like a disease or some unusual plant in the Amazon forest. I don't know, I guess I'm trying to be funny, but, you know, not really. But like I said, the thought behind Ubuntu humanity towards others is, is nice. Uh, I think the, um, number two, I think the uh, PC, the, the uh, Linux PC, should look cool. I mean, the default desktop should look very easy to use. Now, of the three, Zorin, of course, looks closest to Windows, uh, although Linux Mint and Ubuntu Unity are not difficult to learn and use. I've been using Unity for over two weeks. Um, let's see. Yeah, over two weeks now, and it, and it seems fine. The third thing I wanted to mention is the price. Now, I realize that the international exchange rate can fluctuate, but a Linux desktop should be priced lower than Windows or Mac. Number four, bugs. Uh, the perfect Linux desktop should have zero bugs and all software should work out of the box. This is something I expect. I expect nothing less from Windows 7. I realize some of you have had issues with Windows 7 and I believe you, but for me Windows 7 has been perfect, so I use Windows 7 as the quality standard. Number five is support. You have to assume that the new Linux slash Windows user is completely stupid. I'm not trying to be insulting, I'm just being market pragmatic because no one likes returning a PC from a new company. It's as simple as that. Uh, that's it. If you can add more to this, then please do so. Uh, I think I will wrap it up for this screencast of Total OS today. Take a look at this and let me know what you think. And as always, I will catch you sometime in the future.